Hey guys, what is going on? Darren Court here, coming to you with a tutorial for the so-called oil tanker base. The name is actually courtesy of Daniel from London Nabel, who uh, called this the oil tanker base when I showed it to him for the first time, because it reminded him of an oil tanker. Also, never before has a uh, patch been so hyped with you guys, so I'm really looking forward to sharing this with you. The patch we're going to create today sounds like this. And it's actually really, really simple to make. It's real easy to do. Okay, um, what we've got here is a single Thor, a Scream 4 distortion unit, and some reverb. I'm going to deactivate the Scream 4 and the reverb for now, and show you what I made in the Thor. Okay, where should we start? Let's start with the oscillator section. I've got two S oscillators going on here. One is a low oscillator with octave set to one and a sawtooth wave and the other one is a multi-oscillator that's uh, four octaves higher, so that's set to octave five, also with sawtooth waves, slight amount of detune, around 11, and then they're both detuned. The, one, uh, the high one is at minus 12, and the low one is at plus 13. So uh, yeah, those are the two oscillators. They are then routed into a filter, and the filter um, is actually really interesting because it's a low pass filter with a low frequency and high resonance, and it's also uh, got a lot of envelope amount, 43. Now the filter envelope has an attack of one second or 1.5 seconds and a decay of six seconds, which makes it sound like this. The filter opens up and closes. Note also I have some um, amp envelope attack and decay, but that's, uh, yeah, you can probably hear that. Now what happens is, um, Due to the resonance, at the beginning of the sound, when the sound starts and it's heard for the first time, then um, the analog oscillator, which plays in the lower octave, is going to be heard uh, much more prominently, while later, uh, after about 1 or 1 1.5 seconds, the multi-oscillator is going to be louder because, the resonance, uh, because of the resonance uh, and the filter frequency, the way they interact. Right now, um, we have a big boost at 118 hertz, which is around where this one sits, and then the filter frequency sweeps up due to the filter envelope and um, gives this one much more presence. So what's happening here, if I disable the filter envelope amount, uh, is basically this. Okay. Now that uh, you know all about the filter, um, I can tell you about the Scream 4. Now what I did with the Scream 4 was I set that to tape with full speed, full damage and no compression at all, which gives us the most distorted sound the Scream 4 is capable of, or the tape algorithm is capable of rather. And um, due to the nature of the tape distortion algorithm, it will always distort the loudest part of the signal. Now as I said before, at the beginning of the sound, this uh, upper oscillator here, well, this analog oscillator there, the first oscillator, is the louder sound, and then later, the multi-oscillator is the louder sound. So as you can hear... You can hear the lower one first, then the higher one kind of fights through and then retracts back, and you can hear the lower one again. Um, I did not cut anything, and I did not use the body section at all. What I did do, though, is apply some big reverb, which is just the initialized... Um, whole reverb with a size of 39 meters, the maximum size and the decay at around 102, so that's about 5 seconds. I set that to uh, 67 dry wet and uh, that leaves us with this. So uh, yeah, it's really easy to do, that's the patch, and um, here... Once again is the full song. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you could learn a little bit about um, the process of making this synth. And if you have any questions, um, post them in the comment section below. Apart from that, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, all that kind of stuff in the description. And please also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Dorian Code out.